Okay, you want to break this problem up in the parts. The first part, you want to look at the car one coming down the um, incline. And you start with potential energy and you end with kinetic. So to find the speed at the bottom, you set the potential energy at the top equal to the kinetic energy at the bottom. Okay, once you have that speed, you're going to need it for the collision part that comes next. So car one is going to collide with car two. So you take the speed at the bottom for car one. Speed of car two is zero before the collision. Car one after the collision will be going half of its original speed, but in the opposite direction. That's why I have negative 0.5 times the original speed. And then you have to find the speed of car two. Once you have the speed of car two, that will take you to the final part of your experiment. And that's where car two becomes a projectile and lands on the ground. So you take that speed and you use it in your projectile chart as the horizontal speed of the projectile. The vertical speed is zero because it's going off the cliff horizontally only. The height of the cliff is 0.9, so you make your delta y negative 0.9 and your acceleration negative 9.8. You solve for the time it takes the projectile to hit the ground and then you use that to figure out how far the projectile will travel.